Okay, so what's going on here is there will be a pressure switch at it and a pressure gauge. <clears throat> Before it was a continuous running pump, so anytime that they had power, it would run, always pushing water. And the problem with that is if you wanted to stop, you couldn't because it was running and running and that pressure would just blow the prime out of there and then it would stop pumping then you would have to prime it and start all over and it was a big headache so this is something that needed to be done so it uh, is pressure regulated and you could leave it on all the time okay so there it is On, when it comes on, it'll be on 20 and goes to 40 when it's turned off. But right now, it's on 10. I'm gonna have to ask why. Okay, so we had a problem with this thing here. He installed the pressure switch in the, in the gauge and uh, also the motor, the pump in the tanks over there. And that evening, I came out for some reason and this thing was running. Who knows how many hours it had been running, but it was running, running, running. So I just turned the circuit breaker off. The following morning, I came out and discovered that it had lost its prime. So I opened this thing here and I put some water down there to prime it and some water in there, it wouldn't prime. So we called him up and he said he couldn't come because he was out of town and uh, all weekend he didn't come. Uh, Monday, he said he would be here, but Monday rolled around, he said he was sick. Tuesday, which is today, this morning, he showed up. He did, didn't look sick, but anyway, he showed up today, and I told him that it wouldn't hold his prime. I was thinking that maybe the one-way valve that's down at the bottom of this pipe was bad and he said no it was a vibration from this motor because this well I moved them but they were stacked neatly and uh, it has a, a base a sand base but it was level and everything and according to him is the vibration that uh, is causing that pump to lose prime. So what he wanted was a concrete pad to put the motor on. And he didn't want to do it because it's not his job. The problem is that this is what he installed the pump in. And by the way, I've paid twice for this pump. When the weld was put in, part of the price is to install the pipe and the motor and the pump. But I didn't need the pump right then. So several months later, he came to put in this pump and I had to pay to have it installed. Okay. And then I had to pay again because he cut this thing and added this pressure switch. So in reality, well, in reality, I paid for it three times, not twice, three times. But that's neither here nor there. It's losing prime and I have no water. So 
due to his not putting the proper base on this thing, it's my fault and I have to do this. So at this point, he becomes part of the uh, famous Thai contractors that no matter what, it's your fault. So I built this base and he said he will be back tomorrow. He will cut these pipes, put this thing down here and uh, fix it, I guess. So tomorrow we'll find out. So hopefully it doesn't lose its prime anymore. Yeah. And have, you know, one more thing, now that I'm venting here. Part of the problem is, is that uh, when he comes to do this job, he, if, for example, if you have to wait for the tank to fill before the, the switch kicks in or this or that, uh, he'll say, yeah, just call me if there's a problem and he leaves. And uh, there was a problem. Uh, that tank over there almost blew up because the pump didn't turn off. Then this thing here also acted up and didn't turn off. And now it loses its prime, so it's one thing after the other. To me, if he was to stay an extra hour, fix it all, make sure it's running 100%, he wouldn't have to keep coming out here over and over and over. And in the long run, you'd save more time. Oh, well. All right. We'll see what happens tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Let's see if this will fix the primer issue. I had him turn the... Uh, gauges upside down because being on top they were always getting knocked around so i'd rather have them underneath so here it is he's going to do the primer we'll turn it on and see what happens hopefully it'll work and it'll keep his primer we'll find out in a minute the water is not working And supposedly what it was is because of a unstable base that is those blocks sitting on top of sand which is what he did by the way <clears throat> and a loose connection here it was sucking in there it's supposed to be fixed and uh, that's that now it did operate things were running shutting off now the question becomes will it hold so I guess after today tomorrow the next day whatever we'll see if it happens because last time uh, it was, oh, it was a few hours and this thing was not working. So if it works all day today, and it works tomorrow, and I guess it's fixed. We'll find out. It is holding pressure. Now the pressure, the uh, gauge is upside down, but that was because of what I wanted. What was happening before is they were sticking up, way up here, and just waiting for something to hit it and knock them off. 
So I had him put them underneath because I do want to put that tub on top of here and protect it from the rain. All right, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's fixed and it'll work. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.